There's been a bit of a gap in the video because I got really sick the day before yesterday. I think, and I'm hoping it was just something that I hate. Daisy was Googling the symptoms of coronavirus. I don't think it is. After a day of rest, I'm feeling much, much better. I'm drinking this weird purple smoothie, which is guaranteed to make me feel better. As usual, it's pissing it down outside. Uh, I'm heading over to the studio because I've got some stuff to sort out there. Luzza is finally back from Calpe as well, so I'm gonna put him to work. <sighs> Brain freeze. <sighs> so it's about two degrees, raining, miserable. But on the plus side, I remember my gloves today. Still not really sure how I got so sick. We worked out that I basically ate a bad piece of bread, which was way out of date, but I ended up with flu-like symptoms, which I didn't think was possible from uh, food poisoning. In any case, I am uh, feeling much better now. Body's still feeling a little bit weak. I'm not gonna be doing any efforts today, but about a million times better than yesterday. Almost to the studio now. Can't feel my face. warm and dry. Now I've got to admit the studio at the moment is uh, looking a bit bleak. Bit of a blank space. Myself and Lawrence, now he's back. We're gonna try and turn it into a bit more of a functional and creative space. We've got a bunch of shelving in the back to put up. More storage on this side so we can keep all of our camera gear and stuff properly organized. It takes a surprising amount of time, you know, especially when one of us is away, the other person isn't spending as much time here because we're not trying to meet up with each other. Anyway, he's uh, he's been having fun riding his bike in Spain for the last month. And there's quite a funny story from when he was there. His villa got dope tested. Let's ask him about it when he turns up. What do you want, Francis? Ow. I thought you were going to throw that at me as well. Sorry, this is far too expensive. <laughs> that could have been really funny. And I'd have just picked all the shards up and thrown them at you. All right. All right. How's it going? It's been a long time. How are you? Uh, good. Why are you filming the wall? What do you mean filming the wall? I'm filming over here. My cactuses. Look, they're still alive, Francis. If any of you are wondering, I go away for two months up six weeks and they're fine. I did water them before I go. I'm slightly annoyed. Slightly annoyed? Yeah. You want them to be like brown. You're defying the laws of no. biology. There's no sunlight down here. Well, maybe there's UV in that. I mean, this one's plastic, so. <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing today, Francis? Why like, do you use my bike rack as a coat hanger? Because it was so welcoming and there wasn't a bike there, so I thought, oh. Yeah, yeah it actually looks all right. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm having problems getting this camera working properly because I don't know how it works and all the buttons are in different places and I don't know if you're too dark or too light. Well, you're definitely too close because I feel really uncomfortable. That's no, wide. It's wider than my Yeah, eyes. I know, but you literally, wide, I can literally sniff it. Wide. I've got another cool thing. Go on. Because, what is this? It's a light. <gasps> oh my giddy goodness. Good. So if you're today, I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel like a pinky vibe. Then you go for a pinky vibe. Yeah. If you feel like a bluey vibe, then you can do that, or a red, or a yellow. Wow, this is game changing. Do you know oh, what that the is? The police. Yeah, it's the police. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember which of you took that picture? Me. Did you take that? Yeah. How do you know you took that? How can you possibly remember if you took that? Because <laughs> it's a really good picture. Um, <laughs> so I couldn't possibly have taken it because it's a picture of me. You would have been sat on your top tube about a mile in front of me, filming yourself with one foot unclipped. And a drone in the sky. That's where you would have been. I assume this is your little flashy light box thing, because it's the flashy light box thing that's flashing in here. Yes. Yeah. Nice flippy screen. Thank you. Saddle for you. Does that stop you sitting on the wonk? Force you to sit all the way to the front, or does it? No, it makes you sit centrally. Why would you want a, a fin up your ass? Makes you sit centrally. And you like having things over your ass? Well, he does. It's, got, it's pretty rigid. You like it hard though, don't you, mate? <laughs> I'm pausing this vlog for an intermission, and the intermission is to say sorry. I don't really know how to use this camera yet. Some of the shots are going to be too dark. Some of them are going to be too bright. I will get used to it, though. Not good enough. Sort it out. He hasn't so long You can't just film what just happened. There is literally one millimetre of clearance on either side. How has that happened? Did you measure it? This is by chance, again. Again. Look at it. It's flush to the millimetre. Right. Oh my god, you don't even need to attach it. Are you going to put on that? Dunno. This is going to fall on me, isn't it? <laughs> if it is, mate, million views.
How did you got drugs tested? I didn't get tested, oh. but my friend who was staying with me got tested. Had a, an alarm about seven o'clock in the morning. It's very confusing when you get woken up at seven in the morning. I wake up at seven in the morning every day. He got drugs tested, I filmed it. I don't know if I was allowed to film it. But I made a video. It actually got quite a lot of views. Probably, down below, I'll put it in the link down probably, below. Probably because the caption was, our villa got drugs tested in capitals. Last night, they were woken up at 11 o'clock saying the race is cancelled for the next day. The UAE stage for the next day was cancelled. And then they were woken up at 6 the next morning with, with tests. So they got tested. And now they're waiting for re results. But until then, they're quarantined. What to do? We could be out of here on our original flight on Sunday morning. Um, we could be here for two weeks. We don't know, but... Just trust that the right decisions will be taken by, by doctors. And... Quarantine sounds fun, doesn't it? Didn't see this one coming. <laughs> see you soon. Have a good weekend. Good to see you. You look like you're going hiking or something. Are we riding tomorrow? Are you working? Um, I don't know what is happening tomorrow. If it's not raining, that's right. Maybe. Sounds like a solid plan, man. It does sound like a plan. <laughs> so feeling a million times better now. You got a bit of a spring in my step. Got my legs back. Mad reading all the stuff about the coronavirus recently. Has the world gone mad? Or is it actually a concern? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. Myself and Lawrence are both scheduled to be at Strada Bianca, which is just south of the sort of danger zone at the moment in Italy. So we'll see over the next couple of days if the race is still on. I'm gonna get home now, dry out again. Nice dinner with Daisy and catch up on some edit. As I said the other day though, it's quite nice riding in the rain once in a while. A few of you guys know I sold um, this camera on eBay a few days ago and I've got home uh, to find the guy who sent it straight back to me. He issued a, like, a return straight away saying the charger wasn't working but he sent it back. The camera looks untouched. I'm pretty sure it is the same one. And the battery's fully charged so the charger does work and I've just tested it and it still works. I mean is this just buyer's remorse or what? <laughs> So now I've just wasted a couple of hours of my life dealing with eBay stuff. I'm never going to get that time back. But hopefully it's all sorted. I was really worried I was getting caught up in some sort of scam and he was going to send back like a completely different camera or something. Fairly productive day at the studio today. As I said earlier, we're trying to get it set up so it's just a bit more usable. Some shelving and stuff so we can like keep our camera lenses there and share them. And if we've got projects, you know, Lawrence can borrow some of my kit and use it as a bit more of a hub instead of just a, a room we occasionally film in. It's just super annoying. Uh, the cabinet that we had there has a lovely piece of slat wall that we can attach to it and it would be perfect shelving. Uh, but the holes didn't line up. So it's like when you get something from Ikea and it just doesn't, doesn't line up. We keep hitting snags like that. I didn't really have a specific topic which I usually do um, for today's video. I just wanna get as much time using this new camera as possible, to try and get used to the buttons and everything. The old one was pretty much an extension of my body. I don't have to think about where the buttons are, what they do, but on this one, it's all new. So the more practice I can get with it, the better. So today's video is pretty much just been a video of my day. I guess this was a throwback to the old, just a vlog days but yeah i really like this style of video so if you want to see more let me know in the comments down below uh what you thought of this kind of thing i am currently late to go and meet for dinner oops i guess what i'm trying to say is i miss doing the daily vlog style of videos could do a daily vlog i can't do a daily vlog but you know filming more often with not necessarily having a topic let me know what you think Ooh, look behind you it kind of looks like you. We did, finally did it, Sarah. What? After two and a half years, we finally found a curry restaurant that we love. It was like a big moment. I feel a bit sick. Me too. Yeah. I think that was the like five after eights I ate. <laughs> and it's not even after eight. <laughs>